Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sunvox channel. Today we're building Pico Outdoors Dragon Type D, and I actually got the name right. Yay! Okay, whatever. So, you know, as usual, at the side, nothing really special. At the front here, we have a standing pose and a shooting position. Uh, this is from the what? A UC0094. I didn't read that story. Perhaps I should catch up about the side story as well. So, oh, oh yo. So now let's take it out. So one, two, three, three packages with a jacket, a course type instruction manual, and a extra piece here. We see that in the cubelays as well. So you know, just quickly flick through the air course type one. That's pretty much it. And color guide. Don't look at the color guide, the real color guide is here. And as you can see, we got some, we got bazookas, we got new rivals. And apparently we have a lot of parts that we need to use. We have A part, B part, and C part uh, we don't need to use. And this is the torso, torso is different. Head is different as well, shields. That's pretty much it. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of difference to the Echoes type, uh, Echoes type dragon. So we will see about that. But first, we're gonna open up the runners. Now let's take a moment to look at the runners. So this is the C runner. So we got backpack, legs, arms, uh, kneecaps, handpiece armor, head, uh, torso, and waist part, shoulders, and some part of the hands. And that's pretty much it. And I saw the instruction book said there's a couple parts that don't need to be used and we will I will see about that in the review. And this is the A part, clear piece for the head, hands option, thrusters, feet part, torso parts, waist parts, and part of the head, missiles, rivals, and the shield. We got two D parts, this is for all the joints on the dragon type d and we got, as we can see we can see some legs joint and feet joint and some arms joint as well shoulders joint in fact that's e runner we got bazookas the head the new head piece and this two part i don't exactly sure which part is that we got jw2 runner this is a new this is another rival for the Type D, and this is, I think this is specifically made for this gunpla. This is the B runner. We got feet parts, uh, the shield, backpack, torso, waist part, side skirt, and that's pretty much it. And then we have a large sticker. It's very less sticker, it's just a couple pieces of it, but it's a very large scale, so I assume it's not gonna be very good. This is beam saber, and this is the poly caps, and that's basically it. Right, guys, we're gonna see you guys again in the review.
and I are working here today. Hey, welcome back to the review of the Pico Altidores uh, Dragon Type D, and this is the finishing of it. Uh, first of all, need to warn you before you, you know, if you want to buy any kind of Dragon Kids in XG, you have to do a lot, and I mean a lot, of recoloring. And I will talk about that. Mainly, uh, okay, let's just, let's just go ahead first. Um, so the part that we need to recolor is the shoulders, because this part is supposed to be black. On the outside and in the thruster in uh and in the is the white inside of the thruster. The missile here is supposed to be gray. The missiles here is supposed to be white. I don't know why they swap the colors. And uh, the legs thruster here, you also need to do the recoloring and the thrusters. The actual thruster here, you need to repaint it to white. Inside the outside is supposed to be you know kind of gray black ish color, but I don't. But I don't think, but my personal opinion is I don't really think you should kind of buy this kind of Jagan P bandage because it takes so much work to put it back to the original forms. And the part that I don't like the most is the stickers. The amount of stickers used on this kit is seriously horrifying. The whole shield, except for this part here, is actually the original part. The, the shield here, you see those signs here, it is a large uh, gray sticker and then it's a white sticker at the top. They don't even give you color separation. They just busy. They don't even mold you a new runner for you to do the color separation thing. That's just pure lazy writing. But you know, this is Bandai. We don't, we can't really do anything about it. So, you know, I'm gonna quit whining and actually start doing the review. As usual, we'll start from the head so the head can move up and down and rotate it around very easily and the and the blue part of the head is a sticker so you just have to stick it on and then this one uh we got a blue clear piece here the only difference between the normal jagan head and this jagan type b head is the headphones sorry not the headphones <laughs> the headphone look like uh falcon falcon gun Unit and this time the difference between the novel dragon and dragon type D is the dragon type D is antenna is slightly bending backwards while the normal dragon type is probably a little forward, but that's just basically the head difference. There's not really much difference for this gun plot. Next up, we'll be talking about the arm. So the arm is completely fine on doing 360 movement. Uh, it's an old muscle only can bend about 90 degrees. Uh, it can lift up 90 degrees, no problem. It can uh, move. It, it don't it doesn't have a joint to move forward for the arm uh the whole arm is able to rotate 360 as well uh as as well as the hands here and that's just basically it it is a old mode so not really much movement for the arms so we just have to accept that fact now let's take a closer look at the torso the torso is using the normal jagan's torso not really much difference uh this one this jagan is based on the 
Air Course type Dragon. So the cockpit piece here is actually different. So for the Dragon type, for the Dragon type D is a normal Dragon chest. If you were building the Air Course type, that would be have an extra layer of armor covering up the the radiation are here and then cover basically cover the whole torso but this time it is a normal dragon so we don't have that and on the other side uh we have a sticker or at the middle of the waist part and i wish that wasn't a sticker but apparently that sticker still works fine so uh i assume i'm not going to be doing any i'm not going to dist about it because you know usually dragon uh variations gunpla they always got that lack of color separation and then let's look at the side skirt the side skirt we got beam sabers here and then we got missiles here as i said the missile had you had to repaint to white and the side skirt is able to lift up a lot but unfortunately our our legs part is a ball joint so there's absolutely no way to kick at the side you can kick to the front there's no any interruption you can kick to the back as well because this don't even have a back skirt and that basically the legs movement is extremely well and there's a there's a joint at the in the waist that you can move the gunpla around uh, by the way it can move side to side about 45 degrees so that is very good you can also move 45 degrees at the bottom waist as well uh basically the upper the upper body and the below the upper body and the lower body part they work very well for the articulation it's just the arms is seriously Bad. All right. Next up, we're gonna talk about the legs movement. So, it it, it is a old mode, but it did have a very standard legs articulation. It can bend about slightly over ninety degrees, and then there's a there's a joint here at the bottom of the feet. You can move front and forward. The feet is able to move side to side as well. So the feet movement is pretty good. It's acceptable, and. That's basically it for the feet. Oh, by the way, you do have to do some recoloring on the feet, as I mentioned at the start of the review. And let's look at the backpack. So the backpack is a very simple free thrusters, no color separation. Uh, you have to do it your own as well. And here we got the thrusters as well. You have to do the color separation your own as well. The thrusters is able to move uh, probably around probably around 120, 130 degrees. There's not really much to say about the backpack because the backpack is just a normal Jagan backpack and it's nothing special. So that's just basically it. Now let's check out the accessories. So first one we got is a bazooka. Uh, this time it is better than the Echoes Type 1 because the Echoes Type 1 didn't give you this part of the color separation at the middle of the bazooka. This time they did give you that. It is a sticker, but it fits okay it fits so it doesn't matter so and also you have to repaint the scope the scope supposed to be red so good luck on repainting that second we secondly we got two rivals and they are exactly the same it's just a very simple one just left right left right connection and then that's basically it nothing else to say about all oh, it one thing i have to say about you have to repaint the scope yourself as well the scope supposed to be blue or green or something i don't remember uh next up we got a trigger hand pair of them uh the right arm one we got a hand uh, armor piece here but the left arm uh, they sh the hand armor piece you need to share it with the original hand on the left arm so i wish they give you a separate one but apparently they're too lazy to remote one so that's pretty much it and also we got two different lines of beam saber effect part you can choose a long one or a short one i didn't cut it off yet because i haven't shoot the photos yet but the beam saber is at the side skirt so if you want to pull it out just feel free to do it and that's pretty much it because seriously this this gamble don't really have much to talk about. So this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this. There's not much to talk about this gamble because they don't really have any kind of you know mind blowing articulation or mind blowing accessories. It's just a very simple gamble with you know guns, bazookas, beam sabers, and that's it. Uh, I must say though, if you bought this, you have to do a lot, and I mean a lot of recoloring, and you have to fill in the colors as well. So pros and cons, that's it. It is simple. If you're tired of building, building Gundams, uh, building 
uh, any fancy mobile suit you can just buy one and then you know have fun with it just trying to enjoy what's called simple but if you are those guy who is lazy to repaint it like myself I just don't really recommend you to buy it because there's a lot of jagged design that is way better than this original jagged like for example Ewok jagged uh, prototype strike uh, prototype stock jagged uh, prototype um, what's that called uh, the CZA version of the prototype stock jagged you you know you got a lot of options to, to choose man you don't have to really choose this type D plus I think because it's an XG so if it's a black mobile suit we can't see whatever detail is on it so you know if you if you just want to buy jaggins there's a lot of variation you can choose you don't have to buy this type d i personally think jaggins uh, type a b c d is all not worth it to buy i personally would just suggest just buy some jaggins that have a absolutely obvious design change because that's what premium band is for right we want to see some changes so that's pretty much it that's what i have to say you don't really have to you don't really have to buy it unless you're a die hard uh dragon fans then you can buy it well anyways this is the end of the review hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel as well and i will see you next time in another gobbler review goodbye